Hey loves, this is your girl Fly Fit Vegan, lover of fashion, snatched waist, and most things vegan. Welcome to my channel. First, welcome back to any of my subscribers that are coming back to see me and all my craziness. And to my newbies, welcome. But before you do anything else, make sure you press that subscribe button below. I promise you, I'm really not that crazy. Just, you know, just roll with it. Just roll with it. It's safe here. Today, I am coming to you with a super easy and super simple tutorial on how to make almond milk. Listen, I don't have anything against getting almond milk from the grocery store that is already made for me in the carton. But some people out there are just totally into organic, like, I can't eat anything but organic food, fruits and vegetables and fruits and shit. Those types. That ain't really me. But this is perfect for you because this is straight from the nut. That didn't sound right, but you know what I'm trying to say. This recipe is easy enough for all of us to partake in. Let's start with the ingredients. It's only two. All you need is a cup of pre-soaked almonds that you soak overnight. Second, you will need three and a half cups of filter water. Or if you're like me, you just drink from the tab. I don't care. But this is filter water because my mom's gonna drink this too. Next, you'll need your trusty blender. Then you'll need to make sure you have a cheesecloth. What is a cheesecloth, you say? It's what you use to get out all the pulp from the almonds after you blend it. And finally, you'll just need a container to store your almond milk once you're done making it. Let's get started. So first, you're going to just blend your almonds with your three and a half cups of water. I suppose you don't know how to use this blender though. It's super fancy. So next, you are going to place the cheesecloth in the same container that you had your water. And you're going to slowly Pour the almond milk into the cheesecloth. Slowly, guys. Don't mess this up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Next, you're going to simply squeeze the cheesecloth. And what you'll see is you'll see the pulp at the bottom of the cheesecloth. Go so get milk, get milk, get Here is all the almond pulp that is left when you squeeze it through the cheesecloth. It's a lot. You don't want to drink that. And finally, you're just going to add your almond milk to your container for storage. And voila! We're done. There's actually one extra optional step that you can take if you like a little bit of flavor in your almond milk. You can actually add this almond milk back into the blender with some vanilla flavoring. And if you like sweetener, you can add maple syrup or agave nectar. Me personally, I'm actually an almond milk purist. I like my almond milk unsweetened because I use it in a lot of recipes and a lot of different things like my cereal. And I don't necessarily want an additional sweetened or flavored taste. If you make your almond milk, make sure you tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Anyway, tag me. Here's all the ways you can get in touch with me. All of it. All of it. No, seriously. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. 